This is Aaron with Anna Computers from AnnaComputers.com with another potential solution for a problem you might be having with your computer. This one deals with scanners. Drivers for scanners, how to install ITNS 300 scanner quickly. So if you happen to have an ITNS 300 scanner, then this short YouTube video is for you. Drivers for scanners, how to install ITNS 300 scanner quickly. Immediate download of an ITNS 300 scanner installation instructions. I filed this under PC hardware installation on my website, anetcomputers.com. Are you looking for instructions on how to install an ITNS 300 on a Windows computer? You can download that installation manual now. The ITNS 300 film slide scanner works on Windows XP and Vista. Both 32-bit and 64-bit versions of XP and Vista are supported. Click on a link to ITNS 300 scanner manual above to download to your computer, and we shall do that. So click on that link, and I will make sure to leave a link to this post on this video description so that you can quickly access that download link if you need it as long as it remains functional so as you can see I downloaded it and then on my computer I have it set so that anytime I download a PDF file it automatically opens it up with my PDF viewer so just a basic manual quite a few pages 28 pages but here's the gist of it I'm not gonna go over it but I just wanted to show you that this is the indeed manual for an ITNS 300 scanner and this is what that scanner looks like it's a user manual and index all sorts of goodies anyways and then look at this note this film scanner supports Windows XP Vista Windows 7 both 32-bit and 64-bit via USB and then it gives you some tips here but so that's very important information. Windows 8, I'm not sure. I just don't know if this scanner is supported on Windows 8. If it works on Windows 7, I don't see why it wouldn't work on Windows 8, but you just never know with Microsoft operating systems. What you could do is if, the, if it will not work on Windows 8 the way it did on Windows XP or Vista or Windows 7 or whatever other prior version of Windows that you had installed with this scanner, what you could do is you could try to install this scanner using compatibility mode. You might have to install the drivers. If you're not familiar with how to install drivers or software for Windows using compatibility mode, that's a different video. You could go out to Google and just look for keyword searches like compatibility mode, how to install device using Windows compatibility mode or if you already have that software installed but for whatever reason your ITNS 300 scanner does not work on Windows 8 even though it worked on Windows 7 or Vista or XP what you could do is right click that scanning software the software that's already installed right click select properties and then go to a compatibility tab once you're in that compatibility tab you want to select a previous version of Windows. That's hence that term compatibility. You could drop down to the most recent version of Windows. You could select Windows 7. And then you want to make sure you select the proper bit count. If you're running Windows 8 32 bit, you must run that application in Windows 7 32 bit or Windows Vista 32 bit or Windows XP 32 bit. And then obviously if you're running Windows 8 64-bit, then when you try to run that scanning software using compatibility mode, you must select Windows 7 64-bit or Windows Vista 64-bit or Windows XP 64-bit. So that hopefully now that you have a a manual for your scanner hopefully you can get it working on Windows XP Vista Windows 7 and even possibly Windows 8 again Windows 8 I just don't know what you could do if you cannot get it to work using compatibility mode you might have to go and reinstall your drivers so I would recommend 
you uninstall all your drivers and you notice how this has a CD-ROM installation remove all your software unless unless the software for the ITNS works however it cannot connect to that scanner it could be because of drivers issue on Windows 8 I would run a computer scan with software similar to CCleaner or whatever your favorite computer cleanup utility is run a file scan so it removes temporary files cache files and then old files related to this software and then run a registry scan let it clean out any registry entries associated uninstall those I would uninstall the drivers and then I would even uninstall the software but again it's up to you if you think that the software is just fine it's just an issue with your drivers for the ITNS 300 on Windows 8 uninstall the drivers then run CCleaner or whatever your favorite file cleanup utility is for Windows then you could try to just reinstall those drivers but I would recommend that you install them in compatibility mode but if you've never installed drivers or software using Windows compatibility mode look into it first so that you properly install those drivers and then it's similar you have to pick a previous version of Windows that you want that software and or drivers to function and as in compatibility mode hence that term so I, I usually recommend that you pick a most recent version of Windows if you're running Windows 8 select Windows 7 and then just go back and you know go backwards in compatibility start from the most recent to the the most earliest or you know start from Windows 8 all the way back to Windows XP that's what I would recommend but it's up to you you could start with Windows XP and then bam it might work and then you just solved your problem anyways you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other potential fixes for your most common computer problems thank you for listening